both the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G and A25 are budget Android smartphones. They're actually closer to the entry level, right, of the market. Uh, so if you're looking for affordable options, um, these are two devices for you to consider. Of course, there are many factors involved in choosing what phone you buy and all that. Uh, features and specs are important. The price is also more, more or less important depending on the market that you are in. Let's see what the two of them offer and help you make up your mind. The two of them, when you place them side by side, look exactly alike. Exactly alike. The water drop notch, the bezels, the screen size, the camera design at the back. These two devices are identical twins to all extents and purposes. They are also both 5G smartphones. So physically, you really cannot tell the difference. You have to look at the specs sheet to be able to tell uh, what's available. In terms of processors, because the Galaxy A15 5G is the lower, is a slightly lower of the two devices, it has a Dimensity 6100 Plus chipset. The slightly more powerful Galaxy A25 has an Exynos 1280 chipset. What it simply means is that you get more performance out of the A25 than the A15 5G. The A25 will run faster than the A15 5G. If processing power is important to you, if you do gaming, etc., and you can afford the price difference, then you should definitely be buying the Galaxy A25. It has about, in terms of raw numbers for the processor, it has about 25% more processing power than the A15 5G has. Okay, let's head on to the build materials. The build material, similar, the dimensions, very similar. There are some tiny differences in the dimensions, but it's nothing you will notice with the physical eye or when holding the phone in your hand. They both have a 6.5 inch super AMOLED display. Both of those displays are 1080p resolutions, meaning that you get sharp, uh, clear images. The display of the A15 5G has 90 hertz refresh rate. The refresh rate is what determines how smooth uh, your screen scrolls when looking through um, images, graphics, and all that. So the A15 5G has a 90 hertz display while the A25 has a 120 hertz refresh display. So there's some difference there. You'll get better scrolling on the A25. In terms of mobile networks, both of them, like I have said earlier, are 5G devices. They support all of the 5G networks here in Nigeria. They support all the 4G networks here in Nigeria. They are also dual SIM devices. They have a hybrid SIM slot. What does that mean? It means that the second SIM slot can be used for a micro SD card. So you give up one SIM card, right, in order to use memory card with the phone. So that's what a hybrid slot means. Neither of these phones support an eSIM. So if you if you have an eSIM or you want to use an eSIM with your smartphone, you are out of luck with the Galaxy A15 5G and the Galaxy A25. All right. Now, both of them have a 13 megapixel selfie camera in a water drop notch at the top of the display. Okay, um, when you dig a little bit into the details of those cameras, you will find that the A25 selfie camera has a slightly improved capabilities than that of the A15 5G, even though both of them are 13 megapixel cameras. I have mentioned to you before that megapixel count is not the only yardstick for determining how good a camera is. Um, okay. If you flip over to the rear side, both of them have a 50 megapixel main snapper, right? Both of them also have an ultra wide camera, but the ultra wide camera of the A15 5G is a five megapixel unit, while that of the A25 is an eight megapixel unit. So you'll get more details out of the rear camera of the A25. Lastly, they both have a two megapixel macro camera for when you want to take close-up shots and all that. But look, between you and I, two megapixel macro cameras have been proven again and again to be mostly useless. I don't know why any manufacturer still includes them 
if they had made it five, at least five megapixels, you know, we well, would be thinking that we have something. So I, I wouldn't hold my breath for those two megapixel macro cameras. In terms of battery and charging, both of them are equipped with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. 5,000 milliamp hour batteries are about the standard these days. If your phone has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, you're, you're safe <laughs> to a large extent. You're safe, you will get good battery life. Your, your battery should be able to hold for a day unless you are not doing anything except playing on your phone all the time, right? If, if you're on your phone all the time, your battery will likely die before the end of the day. But if you have a job and you're involved in other things and you use your phone um, the way other human, <laughs> most other human beings use it, you pick it once in a while, do something, drop it. With a, with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery on either of them, you're good. How fast does this thing charge? Or how fast do these things charge? They both have a 25 watt fast charging. That means that um, they are again at par when it comes to charging. 25 watts is fast. You will get faster charging on competing devices from Techno, from Avenix, from Xiaomi, from Red Redmi. You know, Samsung has a thing with offering the slowest fast charging possible at any price bracket. Even at their flagship level, the fast charging included is the slowest, you know, around. Well, along with Google Pixel and Apple iPhones, for some reason, the big guys stick with slower, fast charging standards. But we're not talking about those guys right now, are we? Now, how about software updates? If you love software updates, what are your chances with either the Galaxy A15 5G or the Galaxy A25 5G. You're in luck. Both of them ship with one UI 6.1, which is based on Android 14, and both of them will get four years of Android updates and five years of security patches. It is here in the class of software updates that these phones will shine the most. If you pick a competing phone from any of the other brands, you're not likely to get software updates you know that run for this long you probably get one or two updates from techno infinix um, xiaomi redmi but samsung gives you four years so four years after your phone is still running the latest software and that's something i love i love software updates the prices of these devices like i said the, the difference in prices are not significant elsewhere in the world but here in nigeria for some reason, the differences are quite significant, and I'll walk you through them. So, for example, in the United States, the Samsung A15 5G starts from $191 for the 6 gig gigabyte RAM and 128 gigabyte storage variant, right? Um, nice price. In the UK, the 4 gig RAM, 128 gig storage starts from £175. In Germany, Switzerland, and other European Union markets, the 4 gig RAM, 128 gig storage variant starts from 300 euros. Those prices are, the difference in those prices are not significant. But here in Nigeria, for example, the A15 5G starts from 289,500 for the 6 gig RAM, 128 gig storage variant. For the A25, the 6 gig RAM, 128 gig storage variant starts from 403,000 Naira. That's a little over 100,000 Naira price difference. So, if you have to choose between these devices, uh, pricing is going to be uh, a significant factor for most people. I mean, there are a few people who earn enough not to worry about a 100,000 Naira price difference in smartphones. But for most people, you're going to have to look at your budget. So it's it mostly boils down to can you afford the Galaxy A25? If you can, it's the better device. Buy it. If you can't afford it, then you get the Galaxy A15 5G. It's mostly the same spec. It's mostly the same features. You have uh, some downgrades here and there, so you're not missing out on much. Whichever you choose, the two devices are uh, solid entry level or lower mid range smartphones that you should enjoy using. I hope that I've been able to help. Uh, where can you get these devices to buy? In the US, Amazon, Best Buy, Samsung, USA's official website. In the UK, same set of sites, 
Amazon, Samsung UK, in the EU, uh, you have a number of retailers who also service that market. Here in Nigeria, your easiest places to get them, uh, Slot, Pointed, Swat, Finet, and then Jumia, Konga. If you try a lot on Gigi, there are a number of phone retailers on Gigi um, that are verified and re reputable. You can also order from Amazon if you like the stress of importing the phone by yourself, but I don't recommend uh, importing anything into Nigeria because it's a haz hazardous <laughs> endeavor these days. So just to walk into um, your favorite phone store and ask for either the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G or the Samsung Galaxy A25. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Please do like this video, follow my channel, turn on your notifications, and let's party again next time.